a new feature in MPanel 21 is the ability to incorporate flying masts or cable supported masts in conic and tent structures. This CAD file describes all the steps in detail and is available for download from the support website. In this video we will quickly show the steps to build a model and also to report on the support cable tension using the new pre-stress link tension report. We start the project with the draw conic tool and build the model. Next we add two construction lines. This will help us locate the mast. We then add a 3D polyline between the construction lines which represents the mast itself. We can now delete the two construction lines. We then select the mast and the bow ring 3D polylines and use the join poly tool to join the two together and then choose fill gap between ends. We delete the old and we can see the mast is now attached to the bow ring. We then draw in four lines that represent the tension cables that will support the mast. Finally, we select the mast and using the poly float constraints tool we select allow movement in the Z axis. We apply this constraint to the mast. We're going to make a copy of the model so we can demonstrate the effects of different link stiffness values. We switch to front view so we can see the results better and we relax the first model with settings of link stiffness of 500 and we'll use 1500 iterations to ensure a fully relaxed model. We relax a joined edge mesh and watch the title bar for the solution error. We need a number of 0 0.00001 or better for the model to be fully resolved. For the second model We'll use a link stiffness value of 2500 and with this higher link stiffness we need to increase the number of iterations required to resolve the model. In this case we'll use 5000 and then relax. Now we'll measure the height the bottom of the mast has dropped. We can see the mast with the higher link stiffness has dropped 239 millimeters. The mast with the lower link stiffness has dropped 395 millimeters. Finally, to determine the cable tensions, we use the new pre-stress link tension report. For this example, I'll use a pre-stress value of 30 kilograms force per meter. We select one model at a time and run the report tool and delete the old. We can see the model with the lower link stiffness has a cable tension of around 700 kilograms force in each support cable, while the model with the higher link stiffness has nearly twice the amount of tension. Thank you for watching and for more examples and tutorials please go to mpanel.com or search for mPanel on YouTube and subscribe to our video channel.